Yeah, look at um, at times I think we're so stupid we're actually good. We don't realize uh, we don't realize the holes we get ourselves into, you know, because. Nice bit of balance there from Tony Kelly. Tony Kelly with a spin. Fantastic. Kizik Park in Ennis. Eventually it's picked up by Tony Kelly. Even his own pals didn't know that he managed to steal that one away. And it's finished spectacularly. Oh. The pressure was kind of off as last week having won. There was no kind of fear of relegation over as you know, so we can come, come out here and have a, a cut off clutch right there. One man passed on the stick drops it in, and O'Keefe has to deflect it over the crossbar. One of the great sequences of play that we've seen in this match so far. So Tony Kelly, two points to his uh, credit so far. Will he go for the goal? He's winding up, drives it into the net. A sensational goal from the teenager from Ballier, Tony Kelly. His senior championship debut back in. Aaron Cunningham inside here for Kelly. There's a goal on. They score it. Brilliantly done. Here comes Kelly. Keeps it low. Brilliant goal. Claire back in the match with just about two and a half minutes. It was the, it was the freeze, really. It was the one thing that sticks out in my mind that just gave away too many of them, and you can't, you can't be given uh, Patrick Horgan three shots of goal. He, He'll be doing very well to, to more of a game, giving him 12, 12, 14 frees. He can score from the middle of the pitch. What a performance. Kelly is the man. But Donovan did all the hard work. He knew right beside him on his left shoulder was a peach of a hurler. Another one for Claire. They lead by four. And they're only eight minutes to go. Their dear Duke scores the likes of uh, as good as you'll ever see in an Ireland final. The first, the Tony Kelly here again now. And from the halfway line on the run on his right. Kenny in position and O'Donnell wouldn't let him out and they've taken it off. Tony Kelly is here. David Reedy is there also. Kelly steadies down and he's starting to run the show. Tony Kelly. Biggest lead they've had in the match. It's up to four points now and Tony Kelly is starting to take over. There goes Kelly on his foot. Passing to 45. Uses the short grip. Tony Kelly, Kelly in on the baseline here, awkward angle, nothing's awkward for that man. Terrific score by Kelly. Tony Kelly takes it on. The umpires wave the flag again. It's Kelly and it's all over. And Clare are league champions. Lays it off first. Tony Kelly has already scored one point. He's just along the sideline. The umpire is unequivocally going for the flag. That is a thing of beauty. He's a very special talent. Tony Kelly. Goes out, it doesn't matter who's there, you know. We just put the shoulder to the wheel and that's what we're built on, you know. In the past maybe 2016, after winning it we had I suppose we had maybe 14 or 15 unbelievable hurlers intercounty, but be it football or hurling and uh, 
I suppose two years later now we're, we're, we're building with a lot more club lads and um, you know it's it's a lot it's, it's very enjoyable seeing those lads now break onto the senior team and uh, you know if we did have the lads from America those lads might be able to progress and uh, after you know Jeremy O'Keefe uh, carried it a long way ran into traffic and you know we see here Tony Kelly has gone into the full forward position that's an unbelievable score over his shoulder brilliant from Tony Kelly It's a brilliant take by Jason McCarthy, and McCarthy lets that one go long. It's a brilliant strike from Jason McCarthy. He did it all himself, and Claire absolutely flying. The wind at their backs, the wind in their sails, they lead by seven. Yeah, it was a great score, you know, he showed huge intent and uh, driving forward, and uh, a great score with the elements behind him. Now, this is Tony Kelly. Kelly from an impossible angle, he doesn't do impossible, that's another one, oh dear, oh dear, another incredible point from Tony Kelly. That is just ridiculous, isn't it? An unbelievable score. Wexford need a big start to the second half, it's Claire who've got the only point since the match resumed, and off goes Tony Kelly. 10 point Tony, he'll surely add to his total in the second half and Wexford can't get near him, he's almost run the length of the field and there's another string to his bow and another superb point. Clare are not in any particular hurry to do anything at this stage such as their healthy position on the scoreboard leading by 16 points to 7, that's Pawdy Foley, they'll take a point, that's a corker from Pawdy Foley, really nice score, did it from place balls in the first half, so double scores they trailed by at the minute, and Lee Chin is about to come in for Wexford, well his fitness clearly a an issue and the, the the strength of the durability of that hamstring it's problem. Here, Tony and Kelly. Claire behind Wexford. Wexford in real trouble. Tony Kelly can seal it. Goal for Tony Kelly. Beats Mark Fanny. And surely in the 55th minute, that is it. And that is Claire into the quarter final. 